Hey, what's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Orfe and today I'm going to show you how to grade your log footage. If you are a beginner and you start shooting with log and sometimes it might be a little bit challenging. You see these full images. It's a little bit gray. It's a little bit washed out, but there is a good way to grade it. So I'm going to show you in this episode, not only how to grade, but how to put your touch to those footage so it could be sony it could be anything like red black magic it doesn't change because what we're going to be using in davinci resolve it's some tools that will help you get the right image all right so let's jump right into it all right so the first thing you need to know is that when you shoot log images when you shoot log footage the program that you use it could be final cut or whatever davinci resolve we are in davinci resolve so i'm going to mostly talk about davinci resolve you got to know that davinci resolve doesn't know what type of footage you're giving it so you got to tell davinci resolve hey my footage was shot with this camera as you can see i have different footage and we're just going to check them out and see how to do it i'm going to take this image for example so we are in the edit panel and what you have to do is go to the color panel so when you are in the color panel you're going to see like the on your left side you're going to see the different your library those are some of the the things that you uh, uh what, what's it called it's the look that you created and it's kind of your library depending on your session that you used and so on and if you don't see this you just need to click on gallery on top here so you have your first node here and what I usually do it's I create different nodes. You can create different serial nodes. The first step you need to do is click on, on this, on the node and then go to add node. So you can add serial node and the, um, the shortcut is option S. So I'm going to click once, but what I love to do is just create different nodes. So I'm going to take the last node that I created out of the eight nodes. So you can, you don't have to do all of that, to be honest, but you're going to see why I do it. And this is, I'm just editing as a beginner. So I want to show you to start right. And also, you know, this is the way I do, to be honest, this is how I do it. And um, some people do it differently. I'm not an expert but i kind of know what i do with the tools that i have some people do different tree nodes and and stuff like that you know it's a little bit advanced but you don't have to do that so the first thing that i do is the last node here what i'm going to do i'm going to go on the left on the right side on the effect panel if you don't see this you're going to click on effects and go and scroll down to color transform so like i said davinci resolve doesn't know what type of footage you given it so you have to tell davinci resolve hey i'm giving you this type of footage and it was shot on log what i do on the last node i'm going to click and get the color space transform as you can see i have different stars i added my favorites those are the things that i always go back to when i edit you can also do that i'm going to drag it to the last node so when you drag it you have to tell DaVinci Resolve. All right, so this, for example, those are those were shot with the red Komodo. So what you have to do, simply go in the input color space. I'm gonna scroll down. You, you, you're gonna see there's a bunch of cameras. You're gonna see the Canons, and those are all log footage from different manufacturers. So I'm gonna scroll down and go to red. So this is, what I shot with my red Komodo. And as you can see, if I click on the number eight to enable and disable, as you can see, there's already colors on my image. Now, the next step is to input gamma. So what I do, I'm gonna scroll down again and go to red three G10. 
right away, you kind of see like we went from this to this just by clicking. So the whole point behind it is just a question of having it as a photo. For example, if this was shot with a photo, this probably would be your first look out of the camera. All right. I'm talking from a photography perspective. So now in terms of color space, output, what you want to do is Rec 709. So I'm going to click on Rec 709. And for my Gamma, I'm going to go on to Gamma 2.4. This is what I start with. So now I'm going to go back. So what you can also do, you can uh, label your, your node. I'm going to label it and call it CST for color space transform. And then I'm going to start from the beginning. So now I'm going to go from this, from the first to the last one, depending on whatever I want to add. So this is your starting point. Now, in terms of adding contrast and adding more density to your photo, it's really up to you. When you shoot with the red, you can actually go and click on, on the clip and start changing some of the things like the ISO or whatever. If you shot it at a different ISO and you want to do it differently and change it to maybe um, 800 ISO if it was too dark or just giving it a 250, that's where I shot this footage. This is for the red Komodo. But if you don't have that, if you didn't issue with the red Komodo Black Magic or, you know, some of the, uh, I think, uh, Aerie also has that. But if you didn't shoot with that, it's not a problem. Go to the first wheel. And what I love to do is add a little bit of contrast. The reason why I'm adding contrast, it's kind of removing that little haze on that photo. As you can see already, we're going from a little bit washed out. Although we came from this to this, what I want to do is add density to my photo. And when you add density to your photo, it becomes like a photo. All right. So density to your footage. That's what I meant. So you can either do this. When I double click on contrast, it resets everything. But you can also just drag your um, your your shadows, so your dark points. You can also do that. I don't do this. I do it, but not at this stage of my retouching. So what I do, I play with the contrast. Now we went from this to this. You can label. I don't usually label, but I'm going to call it contrast. I'm going to call it contrast. And then on the next, I mean, if you really organize it, you want to organize everything. You can just go from this node to this node and start adding all the elements that you're adding and start labeling them. But this, I'm not that organized, especially for some projects that I work on. I usually know the direction, but for this, as you can see, I added, I'm just going to uh, restart this so I can remove the curve. And now, as you can see, the before and after, it's already giving you something. Now, on the next node, what you can do is adjust your temperature because this was shot uh, at about like 5 or 6, I think it was 7 p.m., but this gives you already a little bit of warmth, but you can also play with your saturation depending on what you want. But already we go from this to this with just simple clicks. If you work on something, this could be your final look and this could be your starting point for more color grading. Color grading is just a question of different tastes, how you want to do stuff, enhance some of the look of your footage. So you can do that on the next node. For example, you can play on the highlights if you want to you know, the overall image, I can add a little bit green tint. Uh, I can do this depending on what you want to do. You can also, everything depends on how you see your final project. I'm not going to go too deep into all the things here, but this, we went from your log footage to this and just with three, three nodes. And it's, 
it's done. If you want to add noise, I'm using DaVinci Resolve Studio, like the paid version. I'm not sure if there is grain in the, you know, the, the last version, but you can use Film Look Creator. This is something they, they added. I can click on that. This could be something also you add. It adds different stuff to it. You can just change different you know you can change your exposure you can add more more white balance you can you know dial in but since we've already done that in the previous nodes you don't have to do it you don't have to but everything depends on on you but you can add a different touch to it for example at the bottom there's something called global blend you can just reduce a little bit this is full on and you can just reduce the opacity as if you were working with different layers if you want to add noise for example you can just go and add grain you can add grain to your footage and that could be also a different thing that you add to your style. Let's say this is what you've done and what you love and you want to duplicate that to all the other footage that you already have. It's easy. You just right click on your photo and you grab the still. And when you grab the still, it'll go to your gallery. And the only thing left to do is probably go on another footage and right click to it and apply it. Great. And what's going to happen, you're going to see all the things that you've already applied on the previous clip applied. And then you can do all the adjustments depending on the final look that you're looking for let me know what you think if you have any questions just write them in the comments you already know what time it is it's your boy orphan and me baby i'm out cheers